What's up, YouTube? So Relentless Redneck here. Just wanted to let you know that we got some better equipment since uh, the last video or the video you're about to watch. Um, got a GoPro today, so it's not going to be any more crappy cell phone footage. Um, but the footage you're about to see is the logistics of us moving a, a South Bend lathe um, that's 1,800 pounds. So it's a 13-inch lathe with a 5-foot bed. And we managed to get that from a car trailer into a bulkhead basement over a 14-inch lip. And you'll see all the logistics of that here. Um, and you'll see right over here that we actually did accomplish that. And also coming up, we have um, a collaboration with Brian Cutts up in York, Maine. We're going to be building some rat rods with him. Um, just kind of bouncing ideas back and forth off of each other and, you know, building some cool stuff up there too. So you can expect to see some cool stuff coming out of here. Um, but as for right now, leave a like, subscribe, share. That'd be awesome, guys. Thanks. What's up, YouTube? It's our first video, The Relentless Redneck. Tonight, we're going to be loading this 1,000-pound South Bend lathe into a bulkhead. This is where we're going to be loading it down into. We'll show you the steps as we go. Just to give you an idea of the size of what we're moving today. It is this 72 inch long South Bend lathe made in about 1920. What we're going to do is we're going to put it on um, wood skids and try to slide it down the stairs with a winch holding it back and hopefully nobody gets hurt. We'll see what happens. Okay, attempt one to try to get it on a jack. We have a six foot long piece of stainless one inch round stock. We'll All right, you try and I'll break. Can you go a little more? Nope, that's all I got. All right, I get this brick in over here. I need a power filter. Hang on, hang on. I think it'll fit now. Think so? I think it'll fit now. Let's give it a shot. Lower it all the way? That is. That is loaded. If we try to catch it by just a little bit. Uh, it's better about having blocks. Yeah, I'm talking about catching it a little bit just to um, just to get more blocks, get just to get more blocks under it. Okay. Just don't don't put meat oh, anywhere on. you like it. Come, come down so I can get the lip to lock. Just make sure you don't have any meat in the way that you like. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't put your peck away. We wouldn't put your fingers. Wait, is that the saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Work, Zach. There we go. We got one side up. All right, so we have a dolly in position, Jack in position, Zach in position. Let's do it. And we're gonna get this thing on its first dolly. Couple more pumps. Okay. Nope, I need a little bit more. Yep. Alright, you can let that down. Yep. Alright. One side on wheels. Okay, now we have one side on wheels. We're on a, sl a small downhill slope, so what we're thinking is... We could tie it off with the winch, have the winch hold it, and or we could block this dolly up with a piece of angle iron. A piece of angle iron will stop them caster wheels from rolling. So we're wrapping the winch as low as we can. So that is the winch cable pulls. It won't pull the weight of the machine down that we're trying to pick up. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to be fighting against ourselves. And we also have underneath here, we have this piece of angle iron stopping these wheels from being able to roll. 
Let's go. Alright. Let's get this wheels under here. We got the space from the jack. So we'll move this up as far as we can. Oh yeah, because it won't scissor on it right there. Yeah. Hopefully. We'll bear as much load of the lead as we can on that dolly. Alright, so we're going down. Yep, take it down. Look at that. Just enough clearance. Just enough clearance. So as you can see, we're facing some very rough terrain just behind the trailer. And we have rough terrain coming to about a 14 inch lip that we have to get up and over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some steel plating and we're gonna put that down on the ground. We're hoping that the steel acts as a runway um, so that we can easily slide this around once it's on the ground and get it into position to get it up over the lip and get it down the stairs. All right, so our plan is to get this lathe down onto steel. We're gonna have a second sheet of steel here and we have a third sheet of steel here. These are four by four sheets. We're gonna bring the lathe onto these two sheets and then swing it around to that sheet, taking this sheet and putting it over here. And then we'll have a straight runway that we can run right to the bulkhead and then we'll turn it one more time and then we'll start getting it downstairs. All right, Jack, I, I don't have any more remote leads, so. I don't know, is it going to line up? What's up? Well, it wants to come straight down over here. So Alright, so we'll just follow the way it wants to go down, see if you can angle the ramps. I'm trying to miss this D ring too, but I don't want to get caught up on that. Oh, okay. Hey. Yep. What if we uh, throw a rope on it, loop it through there so I can pull some tension on it, pull them that way, but also let it out? Same time. And not be in the way of the where it's going to fall if it falls. Exactly. Yep, let's do that. So we just realized that we didn't strap the four-wheel dollies down to the lathe. So we're going to do that before we continue any further. You hope for the best and you take it slow. Okay, Zach, I have an idea. What's that? Um, I'm thinking of taking a strap and going around this cable to hold it in that direction, to hold the ass end going in that direction. And that way the winch cable will still be able to slide through. Straight. It'll still be able to slide through it, yep. Alright. Okay, so we have the strap in place on the winch cable. If I step on it, you can see it's fairly loose. Uh, okay, going down slow. Zach, how does that look on those ramps? It looks pretty good, actually. Hold on, Act. we got to move that other ramp over a touch. Do we'll you want me to pull it back? A bit more tension on the uh, winch. That should be good. Yeah, we're nice and center on this side. Let me just pop this ramp over. Start going down just a touch at a time. Now, as you can see, I'm standing on this here to give us more tension so that we can pull more because we're getting further away from our fulcrum point.
Okay. Yep, we're landed. We're landed on the steel here. Right. Yeah. Nice. We're on the steel. It's off the truck. Fucking right, bud. Ramps. We'll chalk up this dolly back here, and we'll swing the front end over to our other plate. All right. Sounds good. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. Now we're gonna go over with this to that next panel. Okay. Now we're gonna stop. Right there. So we're on that panel. So now, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this panel here and we're gonna move it over into this bare spot to continue to roll this over on our steel panels. You don't wanna put that further over here? No, I, want, gonna... I want the full sheet right in front of the door. Oh, okay, I think so. Chalk. Back there. No, put it on your on this side of the front here. I don't think the gear is moving. Because it wants that's where gravity's taking it now. So. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna push this forward just until right about there. And then we're gonna put a jack under it and we're gonna get it on that ledge. Okay, we're down in the basement. Um, our plan is to go to this lally column with a snap strap and a come along and we're gonna run that right out to the bulkhead. So if you look, you can see that it's pretty close to dead on. We're gonna use that to pull this end of the lathe forward while we have my truck with a winch on the other side and hopefully those pieces of pressure treated that we put on the bottom will act as skis and allow it to slide down slowly and then we can put it on dollies when it gets back down in here to put it in position. So we need to move to a location where we can make some noise with an impact and there's really no room for Buddy. Um, so what the fuck is this all about? Buddy's riding back seat. Alright, this one's for everybody who rode in the bed of a pickup truck growing up and didn't die. Here we go. go tear the winch off the trailer so we can hook it on up to the truck and guide the lathe down the basement stairs next. This should be a treat. Hope it don't get pulled over. Oh, fuck it, I'm driving like an ass. Okay guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a template for winch to be mounted to the bed of the truck. We're going to use the base plate from the winch to do that, a piece of cardboard. 
very simple. Take your cardboard, lay it right underneath your piece. Make sure that all four holes are covered. Take a Sharpie, go inside all four holes, getting as much black on there as you can, because you want to try to get the most accurate template. Now we're going to drill these holes a little bit oversized because I want to make sure that they fit first try and um, I don't have to fight with this anymore tonight because it's been a long night moving a stupid heavy lathe. We have our template. All we have to do is when we get the lathe further down the stairs, we can back my truck in. So as you can see, my truck fairly wide and where we're going is in the hole from this corner to the corner of the camper well as you can see it's kind of a tight fit so now we can see where we need to be to be straight on the lathe. So we're gonna take our plate and face it as centered to the lathe as we can. We're gonna start pulling this thing down the stairs. Uh, just a little bit, we're gonna get it to uh, about a tip point at the top of the stairs. Um, so that way we can get the truck behind it, hook the winch up and slowly drop it down. Chalked up those back wheels. Try to keep it straight. Periodically, as I pull it, run back up, move that chalk up to keep those wheels from working away. That one's still there. So it looks like Zach is lowering his side over there so that we can try to get this um, top piece to go in because right now we're, we're not at tipping point and we're close to touching here so we're just trying to get it to the point where we can clear. Try to pull it in down at the same time. Hey, if you're going to do that, I should get a floor jack underneath this side. Yeah. All right. Now you got winch tension? Yeah, I've been keeping up with you. No, you got winch tension. So I'm just going to be running back and forth to the winch. Yeah. Uh, All right, hold that. Uh, Not maybe a little bit more. Maybe not that much. Maybe not that much yet. No. Okay, I got to do some prying from my end. And we have a serial number. <sighs> <sighs> uh. 
All right, let's clean that up and see what that says. Eight zero nine three eight. Look at that. We finally did it. We finally did it. Took what? Six hours? Yeah, took us about six hours, two guys. A lot of fucking weird shit. On a thousand pound machine. On a thousand pound machine. It's like two thirty three in the morning right now. But we did it. We just a couple fucking idiots decided to Throw a fucking thousand pound object down into a basement and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> worked out pretty fucking well. Yeah, worked out pretty well. So I guess that's uh, that would be how you how you move a thousand pound lathe down into a bulkhead. Follow us up for the next video when we get the fucking thing working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We watch for uh, Chuck rebuilds and call it rebuilds. We have we have lots of tooling on this. We'll show you some videos of the tooling. We have lots of tooling, so there'll be there'll be lots more to come. We're even gonna have an amateur machinist teach us how to use it. That should be fun. Yep, he's a junior in high school, and he goes to school for machining, and he is gonna teach us how to use this still unknown serial date South Bend lathe.